Wells Fargo looks to re-enter into risky mortgage lending territory and job losses continue as Bank of America cuts even more staff. Coming up on Tuesday's News Wrap. Wells Fargo is looking to re-enter the subprime mortgage market by lowering its standards of acceptable credit scores for borrowers. According to a report by Reuters, the bank is interested in customers with credit scores as low as 600 that meet strict criteria and have reasonable explanations for their low scores. Wells Fargo is only looking to lend to borrowers with weaker credit scores if the Federal Housing Administration backs those loans. Rising mortgage rates has incentivized lenders to target more borrowers. U.S. lending is expected to drop 36% in 2014, according to the Mortgage Bankers Association, due in large part to a decline in refinancing. Subprime borrowers accounted for only 0.3% of new home loans in October 2013, compared to the February 2004 average of 29%. The St. Louis Dispatch reports that Bank of America cut 280 workers from the Mortgage Operations Department of the St. Charles, Missouri office. The staff reductions continued from earlier this week when 450 workers were cut from the bank's West Coast offices. A company spokeswoman attributed the layoffs to a shrinking volume of delinquent mortgage loans, noting that delinquent loans have dropped by a third, requiring less staff. You can find more on these stories and all your latest industry headlines right here on our site. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again on Wednesday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.